10 Most Common Money Laundering Businesses Number 1. Food Trucks Food trucks, often associated with delicious street food and culinary innovation, might be the last place one would expect to encounter money laundering. Food trucks are mobile, operating in different locations, which can make them harder to trace than a traditional brick-and-mortar business. In 2017, a New York City food truck owner was convicted of money laundering after an investigation uncovered that he had been using his food truck to launder drug money. The owner operated a popular food truck in the city that attracted a steady stream of customers. He accepted cash payments from customers for food and beverages. Food truck businesses often have a diverse customer base and transactions are relatively anonymous. To launder the drug money, he would mix the illicit funds with the legitimate cash earnings from the food truck. Number 2. Antique Stores In 2018, a prominent antique store in Europe was found to be a front for a money laundering operation linked to an international drug cartel. The antique store specialized in high-end art, rare furniture, and collectibles. Members of the drug cartel purchased valuable antique items using illicit funds often paying in cash. These items were then resold through legitimate auctions or private sales, effectively legitimizing the money. Number 3. Catering Services Catering services often deal with cash payments, especially for events like private parties and weddings. Catering businesses can handle a significant number of transactions, especially during peak event seasons. This high volume of activity offers money launderers a chance to obscure the source of their illegal funds. Catering services serve a wide range of clients, from individuals celebrating milestones to corporations hosting events. This diversity makes it challenging to trace specific transactions or identify money laundering activities amidst legitimate business operations. Transactions in catering services often enjoy a degree of anonymity, especially for large events. Number 4. Martial Arts Studios in 2020, a martial arts studio in the United States was found to be involved in a money laundering scheme connected to an organized crime syndicate. The martial arts studio offered classes for children and adults. Members of the organized crime syndicate enrolled in classes using illicit funds. The criminal organization used the studio as a front to mix their illegal proceeds with the legitimate income generated by martial arts classes. Cash transactions are prevalent in martial arts studios especially for membership fees and classes, making these establishments attractive to money launderers seeking to obscure the origins of their illegal funds. Number 5. Cryptocurrencies and NFTs. Cryptocurrencies and NFTs offer a level of pseudonymity, allowing users to conduct transactions without revealing their identities. This anonymity can be exploited by money launderers. Crypto and NFTs operate in a global, borderless digital realm and decentralized system making it easy for criminals to move funds to various virtual wallets and exchanges through different platforms. In 2020, a case involving a prominent cryptocurrency exchange highlighted the extent of money laundering activities within the crypto space. Criminals used the exchange to convert large sums of cryptocurrency obtained from illegal activities into different cryptocurrencies with a focus on privacy coins. These privacy coins, designed to enhance anonymity, were then used for further transactions and asset conversion. Number 6. Car Washes Car washes often deal with a lot of cash because customers pay in cash for their services. This cash flow makes car washes attractive to criminals who want to hide their illegal money. In busy areas, car washes handle a large number of transactions each day, giving criminals a chance to mix their illegal money with the money earned legitimately. What makes it even easier for criminals is that car washes look like legitimate businesses. They provide real services, making it hard to tell the legal money from the dirty money. To make things even more complicated, some criminals run multiple car washes, making it difficult to track their activities. They also move money between different businesses to confuse investigators. Car washes are just one part of their complicated plan. In some cases, criminals fake expenses for things like maintenance or equipment to make it seem like they're making more money legally. So. Car washes become a convenient place for criminals to hide their illegal money and make it look clean. It's a tricky problem for law enforcement to solve. Number 7. Wine and Liquor Stores The global alcoholic beverages market is vast and valued at over $1.68 trillion. Showcasing the significance of wine and liquor stores in the global economy. But in 2019, a wine dealer in New York was convicted of using his business to launder money for a drug trafficking organization. 
The wine dealer operated a wine store that specialized in high-end and rare wines. Customers would purchase expensive bottles of wine with cash, making it challenging to trace the source of the funds. The drug trafficking organization used the wine store to mix their illicit proceeds with legitimate income by making high-value purchases. Number 8. Laundromats. Laundromats may seem like an unlikely place for money laundering activities. However, like many small businesses, laundromats often deal extensively in cash. Customers insert coins or bills into machines for laundry services, resulting in a substantial amount of cash flow. On any given day, a laundromat may process a significant number of transactions. The sheer volume of these transactions offers money launderers an opportunity to mix their illicit funds with legitimate income. Laundromats are often part of larger businesses, such as convenience stores or retail outlets. Criminals can use this mixed use of space to their advantage, commingling their illegal proceeds with legitimate earnings. Laundromats serve a diverse clientele, and transactions can be relatively anonymous. Money launderers may exploit this anonymity to their benefit. Number 9. Tattoo Parlors. In 2016, a tattoo parlor owner in Michigan was charged with money laundering as part of a larger investigation into a drug trafficking operation. The details of this case exemplify how a money laundering scheme can operate within a seemingly unrelated business. The tattoo parlor owner accepted cash payments from clients for tattoo services. Clients frequently maintain a degree of anonymity when visiting tattoo parlors, enhancing the potential for money launderers to carry out their activities discreetly. To launder the drug money, he mixed it with the legitimate cash earnings from the tattoo parlor, making it challenging to distinguish between legal and illicit funds. As cash transactions are prevalent in tattoo parlors, these businesses offer a potential avenue for money launderers to mix their illicit funds with the legitimate income generated from tattoo services. Number 10. Cruise Ships. Cruise ships are essentially self-contained floating cities with a multitude of businesses and activities, providing ample opportunities for money laundering. In 2020, a major cruise line faced allegations of facilitating money laundering activities on board one of its ships. Passengers on the cruise ship could visit the onboard casino and use cash to gamble. Money launderers took advantage of the high-stakes gambling environment to inject their illicit funds into the casino. These individuals would engage in gambling activities, losing substantial amounts of cash in the process. By introducing the illegal funds through the casino and suffering significant losses, they effectively cleaned the dirty money, making it appear as though it was spent on legitimate leisure activities. If you want to see more of this type of video, smash the like button and share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe Successium.